Hello, so, um, Never's been out for, what, over a year on DVD, um, in America there are two copies in the, uh, the old states. There's this version, which is, um, the R cut, and there's this version, which is the unrated, oops, unrated director's cut. This is the one you want. Like I said, this was sort of made out of necessity um, to get into um, some of the uh, less liberal stores and stuff like that. Um, this is also on Netflix. Tr try to avoid this. This one is um, heavily, heavily edited. Um, so, it's, yeah, just a lot. This is the one you want. This is why we made it. This is the one that will hopefully make you throw up. This one will make you hate the movie and think what was all the nonsense about because you don't get to see any of the nonsense. Um, the art is different. You can see on the uh, unrated version, she's bloodier. Um, there's uh, blood on her knife, not on this one. And that's about it. Just some different blood splashes on the back. Same thing, um, Amarip is just uh, cleaner on the R version, and there's not a puddle of blood at the bottom of her chair. Um, this one's pretty hard to buy, so cool, don't even worry about that. This is on Amazon and uh, a lot of places now, so here you go. If, you're in this, if you live in Canada, this is what you're going to get. Same movie. Same thing, except it just says uncut instead of a unrated director's cut. The box art, everything else is the same. Um, I think the distributor listing is different on the back, but other than that, this is the same movie. This is the, the R one. If you live in England, you get a really cool looking package. Um, they added the uh, suburban background. Um, Four stars from people that we actually got it from, which interestingly enough, Dread Central is one of them. Um, and there's also a quote from Dread Central in the back talking about how, you know, cool the movie is. But then they put us on the top 10 worst movies of last year, so I don't get that. Anyway, um, white case instead of the uh, black. American version. What else is different? Um, different, different art on the back. A couple dogs on the commentary track. Right, that's not true. Um, <clears throat> this one is my favorite. I got this from the German Amazon. <clears throat> this is the only. They put it out there cut first. This is the uncut, um, limited edition, Blu-ray. Uh, DVD, it's called a combo pack, um, uh, box art, much different, the back is, uh, much different, how cool is that, they put, uh, some really neat stuff on here, I like Amarika's eyes at the top, and, you know, that shot of Lauren getting her neck punctured, acid faced Amarika, some cool stuff, they added blood and stuff to her on the front, and then we've got the uh, DVD and then the Blu-ray. And then in between is this really cool booklet. It's got the liner notes, pictures, some really cool stills from the movie. Uh, sorry, I should have said there's a couple spoilers. And, and it's thick too. There's some, you know, a lot of material in here, as well as an interview that I did with Nando, part of the crew that put this out. It's a fun interview. Um, okay, just more, you know, a lot of pictures. There's a lot of material in here. It's it's pretty cool. Um, I can't show you that page. Uh, <laughs> and then yeah, we have to. Well, why is she crying? Um, I actually was able to watch the, um, 
uh, DVD part of the, um, of this set, and um, it looks great. The picture's really crisp. It's really nice looking. What's fun is it's in um, Dutch, and that's what I'm going to end with a clip of, um, of me <laughs> speaking Dutch, because I think it's funny. Um, and yeah, so I don't know, I just wanted to go kind of, you know, go over them real quick. Uh, thank you for everyone that has um, bought it or checked it out on cable, on, on, on demand, all that. All that stuff, there are a lot of you supporters out there, and Charles and I, uh, and the rest of the crew, and everyone that was involved, and, you know, thank you uh, for that, and I guess uh, stay tuned to see what we're doing next. All right, later. Danke, Tom. Here's Kip Welling for the Springfield Gefängnis der Gewalttäter. In der Tür schon Gracie wird weiterhin vermisst. Gracie wurde vor drei Jahren hierher verlegt, um seine Strafe für über 35 Morde an Menschen, die direkt in seiner Nachbarschaft leben, zu verlassen. Die Polizeieinheiten und auch alle Behörden der Stadt arbeiten rund um die Uhr unter Hochdruck an der Suche nach diesem gefährlichen Mörder in der Hoffnung, ihn bald dick. We're so cool